There, oh, sorry, you can, oh. sorry, there are a number of instances where the press has uh, been wrong. Yes. Uh, and Actually, we just had a historic moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm, so, I'm sorry. No, I, no, I mean, a, a lay person's view, just play out, a lay person's view might be that the, the, the press um, is, isn't as self critical as it ought to be. So I'm being well, playful well, when no, I say that's a little well, different. Whether we're self whether we, whether we're they acknowledging they are <laughs> self critical as they should be, it's a different question, but absolutely right. Uh, listen, I spent but, hours in front of Congress, and maybe we were right not once, but twice in the 2000 election. Maybe one wrong, night. Maybe. Wrong, I'm sorry, wrong. Yeah. Twice. We got the, the presidential election wrong twice one night. Well, but they, <laughs> what I was going to go on today, they've been wrong, and in fact, they have caused significant damage just to people, as individuals, to companies. It doesn't seem like the press has any responsibility or takes any responsibility to try to, to uh, I don't know, fix a situation after it's sort of messed up things. And a classic example is this guy down in Atlanta in the Olympics. That had yeah. nothing to do with it. Like, they basically just, right. know, so a media pile on someone turns out to be a false story. Yeah. Yeah. Reaction? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but the uh, press uh, takes no responsibility for it. We don't apologize for making mistakes. Well, no, the press does apologize. Yeah, I don't they want to. The press does apologize for making mistakes. mistakes. I mean, ABC News would really issue retractions and we would apologize, but not, not as often as perhaps we should have done. But it takes no responsibility. The ultimate responsibility is the American people by tuning out if you don't trust these people. I mean, that's the biggest threat to the, the press. Uh, but the press does in the Atlanta, and then you go back and you cover it. The problem is, you know, covering it some more doesn't eliminate what happened before. You can't take it away. But the basic answer is you're absolutely right. And, and, and by the way, I felt this way with the New Yorker profile. You know? You were on the receiving end. I was on the receiving end. The best thing that happened to a journalist is to be covered by the press. <laughs> because it is really painful, and you get a sense of how unfair it is. And wrong. having said that, on average, over time for our society, we're much better off with that system than with one that we have government <coughs> censorship or we have some other way of doing it. It, it, is, it is a cost, there's no question, and it's, no, it's, it's, it's cold comfort to those who get injured. Uh, but the ultimate, the ultimate uh, uh, remedy is going after the, whoever it is in the press and, and uh, embarrassing them and making people not trust them anymore. Perfect. One last question. Right, yeah. Hi. Um, Hi. One of the things that is so important in a democracy, of course, is information being disseminated. And we've always had that fourth or fifth estate being the news, if you will. I can't remember which number. But <coughs> what I'm looking at now is a shift because so many people are not buying newspapers, mm -hmm. and newspapers are now looking to have subscription services. So you have only a small amount that's free, and the rest has to be purchased. And libraries are also closed, so even that physical uh, ability to, to get information <coughs> becomes limited. And even if we're watching TV, so the snippets are so small right. of what you hear. So the question becomes, how can we maintain that dissemination of, if you will, free information, so that as a democracy, we really have these so got a Big question, can you give a short answer? Yes. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, uh, I understand what you're saying. I have to say, from my perspective, uh, the biggest challenge we have right now in this country is not that there's too little information on the internet. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm concerned about exactly the reverse of that. The Pew Center tells us that right now there are 15,000 fewer full-time journalists working for newspapers than there were 10 years ago. Wow. One in four. And they project by the end of the year there'll be one in three. And that is in part, this is my new job, so I'm on a soapbox now, that's in part because the internet makes it possible for people to take the value of what paid journalists are doing and make it available anywhere all the time through aggregation sites. And so of the two, I understand your concern and you may well be right when we get to that point, but right now on that balance, I think the bigger threat is that we will no longer have paid professional journalists going out and finding things out. We have a custom of uh, being punctual with our close, uh, and we are at our, our witching hour, which has flown by. Uh, I'll close in a moment with some words, but first how about a great round of applause.